channel. This is Chelsea's Tarot Readings, and for today's Pick a Card, it's going to be a love reading for November 2019, aka Scorpio season, because we're the best. Anyways, for this reading, I did four different piles. Uh, always starting from the far left, the first theme is You Will Be Surprised. The second theme is Forgive. The third theme is If They Once Loved You, They Still Do. And the fourth theme, or pile four, is See Me, dot, 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 in their eyes. So, um, you know, take a deep breath. Choose the one that you are drawn to intuitively. And uh, I will post the timestamps for each pile in the description as well as the comments so you guys won't have to like worry about where it starts. <laughs> and yeah, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and turning on your notifications. But yeah, guys, let's get one. So I'm going to try my best to interpret these cards both for single and those of you who are in a relationship so the theme is you will be surprised ask with love and their answer may surprise you yet whatever their answer be happy and this may surprise them hi it's love and i the universe so ask with love and their answer may surprise you, but whatever their answer, be happy. And this will surprise them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We actually, from my Love Whispers deck, have romance. So maybe a lot of romance going on in the month of November. Scorpio season for those of you who chose pile one. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So, you know, if you're seeing someone, if you're already with someone, or this is this could also be lavishing yourself with attention and affection. And but it just it has I don't know. I just feel like this really for a lot of you, um, romance will be happening. Okay. Oh yeah, look at romantic feelings children oh wow okay so yeah again there will be some romantic feelings um so children could represent like someone with children or these romantic feelings could lead to children because <laughs> that's kind of what i get with that so uh possible pregnancy that's funny. That's what it like makes me, you know, that's the feeling you get. But also, um, I don't know, it's just really centered around children. It could also say like, you know, the romantic feelings make you feel like, you know, like you're able to show this person your inner child and be yourself, you know. Hmm. We'll see, let's see if they, uh, cards yeah okay ace of swords so we have communication two of pentacles you will be surprised communication two of pentacles Okay, so we have Ace of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Strength, and the Emperor. Okay, so yeah, for a lot of you, there will be some romance happening this month. Um, whether you're single or in a relationship, if you're in a relationship, this is just really indicating things will get stronger. Um, I feel there will be communication, which will bring balance to the connection between the two of you. And then again, for the singles, it's saying like someone's going to communicate with you, um, maybe to balance things. We have a Knight of Cups. So again, this again, this person who's coming in has very romantic intentions. Um, I feel this person sees you also as having a lot of strength, but 
either way, it's like a very strong kind of connection, um, especially I feel in this person's eyes. And the Emperor, this is like an Aries, but this is a very um, like mature man or a man of authority, a uh, public figure type of person. Um, could also be a family man because, you know, even in this deck, he's, he's a little more playful. You know, he's looking out at the children, so you can tell he kind of has, like, a family, obviously. So it's not just, like, the cold, old emperor in the original Rider weight. This guy has more of a, you know, like, laid back. There are the kids. And again, we did say something about children, so... I don't know there's there's something about kids here so either this person is going to bring along kids um or you or them could end up pregnant that kind of thing um but i feel for a lot it could just be this person will have kids that kind of thing um or want to have kids yeah because i feel like since children is such a big theme here hi baby my kitty since children is such a big theme here yeah i feel like this person will really be into kids because i just i i see him again you know and it's like you really got to pay attention to the illustrations in a tarot reading i always make sure i pay attention to the illustrations because it tells a different story um but yeah so i mean a lot of romance coming to you really good vibes um awesome so that was pile one. I hope it resonates. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. You Bye. Who chose, <coughs> excuse me, the theme for give. Okay. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Go for gobs, the universe. That's interesting. Let me reread that. Of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. That's nice. That's very wise. I like that. So forgive. So obviously, right away for the theme, um, you guys probably got a hint, has a lot to do with forgiveness. Maybe you need to forgive another person or forgive yourself as well for some of you. Wow. So from our angel answers or sorry, angel whispers, we have spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. True. So I feel you need to forgive this person. Um, it's kind of, I feel like this is spirit just making it obvious that this is a very deep and spiritual connection and that's why I feel it's okay you know if they're saying like that's why it's okay yeah because look we have make the effort and pay attention to the red flags so hmm. you okay so with make the effort again it's saying that you need to make the effort when it comes to forgiving this person because again, this is a spiritual connection. So for those of you who are like, is it, is it not? Is my mind playing games with me? It is because again, a relationship is something special. You don't have hundreds and hundreds unless, damn, that's way too much. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have hundreds and hundreds of relationships. Relationships are very special. You only have a few in your lifetime. So yes, this is a spiritual connection. Make the effort to forgive this person. However, Pay attention to the red flags as well. So you can forgive someone, but not take them back, if you get what I'm saying. We'll look more into it. Nino. The hanged man. Yep, seeing things. So guys, the hanged man right away is about seeing things the so seeing this whole situation basically from a new perspective or from a higher perspective kind of like looking down and analyzing like again how can you forgive this person or this situation um so that you can be at peace 
because look at we have the nine of swords i feel like you know you can't really carry this energy into november because you know you're really maybe surrounding yourself with a lot of anxiety and pain when it comes to this connection that's been going on um yeah because look at oh we have the scorpio card so transformation and yeah so pile two this is deep because this is like a big transformation for you guys so due to this particular um relationship it has caused you to transform i feel maybe even this other person but with the death also comes ending so again there could have been like this is someone who you do have to pay attention definitely to the red flags with yeah because we have two of swords and seven of wands so two of swords yeah you guys are it just tells me like not again really not wanting to forgive um and being really closed off when you should be kind of open at least to forgiving them uh seven of wands um this is very on guard and defensive energy so maybe again to this person in the month of november for sure i want to get some other cards because i maybe want to get some advice for you um so the advice we have three of swords yeah so spirit is saying like don't do it this is going to hurt you there could have been like them some bleh, some third party situation because it's three three of swords but it's really just about heartache so maybe this person hurt you and it's time to kind of forgive them that way you'll like you won't have that baggage on you and you can finally not think about that person because it's not worth it, you know? It's kind of like releasing and purging yourself. And Three of Cups, have fun. So Spirit's saying, like, for your advice is to just have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, go hang out with friends. Or again, it's kind of reiterating the third party thing I was just talking about. Like, don't do it, don't do it. Because there was, um, pay attention to the red flags. Um, there was a third party when you had dealings with this person, not for all of you, for some of you. Um, and you know that, and that's what Spirit's trying to say, like, you know, don't do it. It this I feel this this is a spiritual connection, and it really was meant to tr uh really transform you, but at the same time help you heal because it's uh you're growing like spiritually, but you need to try and make the effort this month to forgive this person. That way, they can totally just be flushed from your mind completely. I mean, again, it doesn't have to be forever because nothing is set in stone, of course. But for the time being, it's best that, you know, you just make the effort to forgive this person. And that's all. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever happens, happens next. Um, But, yeah. that. So, for the month of November, again just try and have fun guys just go out have fun try not to worry about the situation it's weighing too heavily on you to the point where it's affecting you in it's like it's affecting you in all ways right now regarding your life so it's like you know try and at least to maybe talk to people about it like that's why i'm saying like go out with friends because i know that like helps me so go spend time with friends and you know they'll tell you and you know especially those truthful friends will really tell you like what they think and a lot of times what they think will help you feel better especially the advice they can give you because our friends can be very wise as well they can be our spiritual teachers <laughs> or well spiritual guides yeah so that was pile what was that pile two i love you guys so much um continue healing try to forgive this person uh if you in enjoyed or resonated please give it a like subscribe and i really hope to see you in the next one for those of Bye. you who chose the third pile or the theme if they once loved you they still do so let's get right into it thanks for every single time you ever fell in love whether or not it was obvious 
whether or not it lasted, and whether or not you were loved back. It changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. You change her, the universe. So if they once loved you, they still do. Okay, obviously a message. Ooh, from our angel whispers, we have have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So lovely. Love is patient and kind. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. For a lot of you, you could be getting engaged this month or someone who you've actually been seeing and wondering about. This will be ascending to some, uh, again, like the more you engage with this person, the uh, bigger and, you know, tighter the bond gets between you. Yeah, and new love. So this is saying like um, a new love who you could possibly get engaged to, basically enjoying it this month. And again, I feel for those of you who chose pile three also, for my singles, again, it's saying have patience because I feel again, it's saying um, you could actually start dealing with, oh, isn't 17 the star? You will actually start dealing with someone who you might get actually get engaged to, and this will be a new love. Um, so let's see the cards. Four of Swords. Six of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Karma, the Magician. For a lot of you, I already get the sense that maybe you're creating a lot of good karma for yourself. Um, I really see the Karma card that way in this particular tarot deck. It's really, and to me, it is more about good karma because as you can see, they're praising um, and it's right next to the Ten of Cups and also the Magician, obviously all really good vibes. I feel again, uh, those of you who chose um, this pile, you are manifesting something that's going to be last like a lifetime. And you will have a family with this person. Again, you're creating a lot of good karma. With the Six of Pentacles, that, that also tells me what you give, you shall receive. Um, Four Swords is more of like just resting your mind, I feel. Working on resting your mind because maybe your mind has been like in overdrive. Overall, November is really, really great vibes for you guys all over, especially with love. I feel, again, someone, for you singles, someone will be coming in, and this is going to be um, someone with that, you know, there's potential for this to last a lifetime. For those in the relationships, again, it's going to be great this month. I feel there's going to be a strengthen in the bond. Um, good karma is coming to you, and it's because you're manifesting it, whether you realize it or not, because... You know, some could be intentional, unintentional. Okay. Advice. Two of Wands. King of Cups. Yeah, this could be a water sign. Five of Wands. Avoid conflict. This is just advice and guidance. Okay, so... This isn't for what's going to happen, so don't worry. Because I know you guys probably see the five of wands and you're like, holy shit. No, it's just guidance. Um, two of wands. Again, there, there could, you know, with the two be some kind of decision that's kind of weighing on you. But king of cups just tells me that this person, again, that's coming in is very caring and loving. And again, five of wands, it's saying like, this is more of maybe not having too much negative energy around the situation if you're expecting things to fail or um, 
I don't know. Because that's kind of what I get with that. Like, it's a fear. And it's saying, like, you know, not to fear and not to fight this, I kind of get. Because also with the Two of Wands, it's like, this is something that where you'll be able to make plans with this person about the future with the two wands because it's about really making plans and focusing in on something that's going to um you know be in the physical world and turn into something bigger in the process that you two would be building and it's saying to kind of let down your guard with the five of wands don't fight it that's basically your advice try not to have like any hostile energy or like you know i know sometimes personally i can be a little moody so uh scorpio and sag here for all of you i know like most of my subscribers know i because i i just like i feel like if i'm following a tarot channel me personally i would want to know at least their sun and their moon sign that way i know who i'm dealing with but that's just me i don't know maybe you guys don't care but i personally care anyways <laughs> But yeah, overall, guys, it's looking great for my singles as well as those in a relationship. Good luck to you guys. Uh, let me know that uh, November is the best month of the year. Don't forget it. And yeah, if you enjoyed this, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Those of you Bye. who chose the fourth pile or the theme, see me in their eyes. So first we'll read the theme. Whenever conferring with another, either face-to-face -face or across the miles, whether human being, departed spirit, or sentient tree, always speak to the highest within them. It makes such a difference. Amen, the universe. P.S. Yeah, as if some trees weren't sentient. Glad you caught that. <laughs> okay, so see me in their eyes. So I feel like right away with this theme maybe it's kind of like because it's saying conferring with another always speak to the highest with them so maybe someone feels insecure or uh, interesting we have practice compassion see things from a fresh perspective oh yeah so maybe someone in your life feels as though you haven't been as compassionate, I guess you could say with them as maybe you thought you have being you have been being. Um Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you maybe you need to look a little higher or, you know, turn, yeah, basically like do the hangman thing, try and see things from their perspective as well as best as you can. Um cuz again, we need to treat others with the same respect we treat, you know. Uh, what was that saying you speak the ceo same respect as the janitor or something basically that so yeah guys um practice compassion playfulness passion so yeah because wow i don't know like if you guys probably shut yourself off from someone or it could be the person you're with or it could be someone just in your life i feel um, if no one's in your life, then it's saying that you need to practice playfulness, you need to get out there, um, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, allow yourself to feel passion with another human being, allow yourself to recapture romance, and allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's what spirit is telling you. Yeah, Six of Swords, leave old ways of thinking in the past, I feel, maybe about relationships. Yeah, look to, um, High Priest is saying, look to a more spiritual way um, of thinking. Try like, like, even if you are spiritual, it's saying, like, again, the more spiritual you get, you'll understand. You'll really be able to see things from a higher perspective, and that's what Spirit wants because we have really nice cards eight of wands the sun and the wheel of the year so eight of wands is telling me happiness is going to come fastest to you especially when you start practicing this compassion um happiness is going to come right towards you 
the wheel of the year this is actually telling me that you're going to have a lot of good luck in november you know how i said it's the best month i feel like it's saying i feel like i really meant to say that for you guys like it's going to be a really good month for you because i feel like a lot of you are really transitioning from being closed off and being less compassionate with someone you know than you'd want to be than you typically want to be and it's saying like you're going to kind of be moving away from that and let's see where are my cards oh don't run from me all right let's get some advice Okay, some advice we have ten of wands king of wands yeah well we okay an eight of cups so ten of wands it's saying like you guys are probably holding a lot of burdens from your past because especially with eight of cups it talks about um emotions from the past leaving emotions behind that kind of thing um It's saying to like maybe drop the act because I feel a lot of you again are holding on to a lot of burdens from the past and, it, and it's doing more harm than help, you know? And King of Wands, it could be that maybe for a lot of you it's because of this person. Maybe there's a fire sign from your past that, you know, it because really since he's smack dab in the middle i feel of the eight of cups and ten of wands that's kind of what it is a passion that burnt out that kind of thing but it's about also holding again holding burdens from the past and emotions and spirit is saying for you to release and to trust that um either the relationship you're in now or someone the next person who you're going to meet is not going i feel to be like that person and that's why you need to kind of open your heart a little more um and see things maybe because for a lot of you this probably is affecting someone who has feelings for you again or someone in your life you know either or but Either way, it's it's affecting you guys more and you deserve happiness and happiness will come to you in the month of November. Just keep practicing that compassion as best as you can. Okay, so that was pile four. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.